I'm mm. going to stroll outside the front door. So Flynn Hardwick will turn himself in. Tomorrow morning, alive and well. Time's up. Thank you, Father. Your assistance has been invaluable. God bless. of America's Got Talent and America's Got Talent champions. All right. He's the champion of champions, people. It's <laughs> awesome. He's an amazing magician whose show Limitless is now at the Mirage in Las Vegas. Please welcome Shin Lim. <laughs> Now for a limited time at National Floors Direct, you can buy one room of name brand carpeting or hardwood flooring and get a second room free. It includes full installation, everything, no hidden extras. Call National Floors. Air quality a major concern. At this couple's wedding, masks were handed out to guests. The Kincaid fire has now been burning six days. 150,000 people remain under evacuation orders. Really frustrated. Just not knowing what to do. Yeah, living paycheck to paycheck and uh, you know, not having enough money to go somewhere else. Frustration mounting with utility company PG&E has been cutting off power. Tonight, 1.5 million are in the dark. The company's equipment already believed to be the cause of three fires. And in Southern California, the Getty Fire, now 15% contained. The firefighters right now literally in a race against time. They're no longer battling those huge, brilliant flames, but smoldering pieces, hot spots that could ignite the next fire once the winds arrive. Tonight, wind gusts could reach 80 miles an hour in the mountains surrounding L.A. We're very concerned about the events tonight. Ralph Terrazas. Unprecedented and dire extreme red flag warning in effect here as we come on the air for critical fire weather conditions. While 400 plus miles to the utility company. We had uh, 17 uh, rescue missions. We sent up an ambulance. Fire that has displaced more than 100,000 people and is still on the move. Tonight, with major fires on both ends of California, the worst may still be to come. We have the most significant wind event in Los Angeles of the year that will be starting this evening. The biggest blaze, the Kincaid Fire, 